Timothy Nestor was a Marquette lumber baron who had his name on two buildings. The first, of course, was the Nestor School, built on Bluff Street in the late 1800s. It provided an elementary school education for kids on the west side of Marquette and in the Pickwell location until the 1950s when it was closed and sold to the American Legion. The second building with his name on it was the Downtown Nestor Block. There were actually two Nestor Blocks. The first burned down in 1891, and the second, built later that year, was a great example of classic Marquette sandstone architecture. Sitting across Washington Street from the Opera House, it had stores on the ground level and offices on the three top floors. That all came to an end on Easter Sunday, 1953. A fire apparently started on the second floor of the building sometime around 3.30 that morning and quickly spread. All 20 members of the Marquette City Fire Department were joined by 14 members of the Nagani Fire Department in fighting the blaze. Luckily, it didn't spread to other buildings thanks to the lack of wind and the fact that a little snow was still covering the other structures. But the Nestor Block itself was a total loss. At the time, it was called the most expensive fire in the history of Marquette. The loss of the building was estimated at half a million bucks back in 1953, which is equal to about four and a half million today. The sandstone facade was torn down to be replaced by the Luke Brothers building that still stands, the one that's housing businesses like Panara and Chickadees. But up until Easter Day 1953, that one piece of land held one of the most impressive forgotten buildings in the history of downtown Marquette.